Folks, this is Travis, your host of Elston Equine Solutions in partnership with the Clop and Cow Company, and hoping you're having a fantastic week like I am. Today's topic is going to be describing how to make another pack saddle for hauling salt. Yes, folks, a salt carrier. If you missed my other salt carrier made out of tires, please look at my channel and look for that video. It's pretty neat, pretty practical way of hauling salt blocks mineral blocks up to the mountain and especially the wilderness and got cattle up there so that's what this video is about uh if you have any cool ideas of how to make salt block carriers please email it to me i'll have it put underneath the, the link right below so, so please check it out have a great one hope you enjoy this video please hit subscribe please hit like check it out here we go Okay, what we got here is a normal saw buck uh, pack saddle. This one actually belonged to one of my uncles. Uh, ZA stands for Zane Adams out of Montana. He was one heck of a good farmer and one heck of a cowboy. You know, back in his days up there in age, uh, he, so he gave me this pack saddle. Now this pack saddle also came from a different family member. He actually handmade this and that was John Taylor from up the Montana area from where I'm from. So this was all custom made by hand. And what we're gonna do is put it back together and turn it into a salt block carrier. And that's what we are going to make today. <music> For this uh, salt block carrier, this uh, round stock is half inch diameter, 48 inches length. And what I'm going to do is find the center, which is going to be 24 inches. And I'm going to mark it. Right here, we're going to bend it and kind of A-frame this, this uh, round stock to be able to fit on the pack saddle. So we're going to do that next. We'll heat it up and go ahead and bend it. All right, so right now I'm heating up metal to be able to bend it and shape it. And that's what I'm right, doing right now. As you can see right here, I've already bent the metal that we marked earlier. And I'm going to do the same thing to this piece right here. One of the best way to marks, mark where you're going to bend is actually use a chisel and stamp it. And then when you put in the forge, you don't have to worry about the blackness covering it up where you're supposed to bend when you take it off. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and punch this. Okay, you see that I punched it right here, so that's where my bend's going to be. And we're going to do that next. Okay, there it is. I'm going to stick in the forge. You can see where the mark is, right over top of the flame. So we'll get there. got both the 48 inches they are both bent at an angle looking like an A as you can see right there and I got a mark 13 and a half inches from down from the top down the bottom which is in the fire now the fire we're going to do is bend it up 90 degrees once it get hot enough and we're going to use the anvil for that all right so what we're going to do is take this heated piece of metal put it right in the scroll and we're going to bend it metal 90 degrees just like this there you go all right so now we got to do the other side the other side's already marked right here we're just going to put it in the forge okay another one out of the forge nine degrees mm. 
Okay, just like that. Now we got to do this other side is marked. Heat it up in the forge real quick. I'll let you take a look when I put it in. Okay, let's talk about what I'm doing here or using. Uh, I welded this a long, long time ago. And uh, basically, as you see, it's just a hard piece of metal, another hard piece of metal. And I put a flat iron, welded everything together with the base, go inside the anvil and the hardy hole. And you can heat up and just form fit the metal. It's just a simple scroll. Pretty easy, pleasy, pretty easy to use. And you can see it's working pretty good. You can make one of these, whether it be hollow or solid. As long as it bends metal, and that's no problem, it's hot enough. Okay. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, just like this. That's going to work good, really good. I like it. Okay, we're done. Last one. Very grease. Okay, that don't look too bad at all. Might actually sweep this one back a little bit. So what I'm going to do is twist this one because it is facing the wrong way. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And I might actually bend this one back. I went a little too far. Okay. There we go. Make that better. Okay, you can see it's not laying flat, so we'll fix that real quick and get that back in the fire. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I grab some angle iron, as you can see, and what I'm going to do is uh, measure off seven and a half uh, inches. This could be one side for a divider of the salt blocks. So I'm going to mark it with my soapstone here. Then I'm just going to cut in half, and now I got two pieces and cut off the excess. So that's what I'll be up to next. Okay, so what the next plan is with uh, the bar here, the half inch stock, is I found some uh, flat plate. As you can see, I removed the bolt and just put the flat stock through here. So the next plan is actually to weld this onto this. And that way we have a solid. Uh, anchor point so that's what we're going to do next so we've tack welded the bracket on to the half inch stock and what we're going to do now is continue to go ahead and fill it in weld it and then we'll get it bolted on to the pack saddle and we'll do both the front bar and rear bar doing that now It's on. It is on. All right, so now I'm in the process of bolting on the brackets onto the saddle tree. So that's what it looks like right there. And we'll go ahead and bolt on the back real quick. 
So I got both sides bolted on, as you can see. And we're looking in pretty good shape. Now you'll notice on this saw buck that there's a big slant here and a big slant here. It's not straight up and down like a lot of saw bucks. For example, like this one, straight up and down. So I had to make a little bit of modifications to it and add a little bit more steel to the front to help support. Now the nice thing about this pack saddle is uh, most of the weight is going to be suspended on the bars of the saddle. Only one point right here. So when you take the unit off, all you got to do is unbolt here, unbolt back there, and pop the bolts and just take the whole thing off. That's what's nice about this type of a saddle. Or sorry, a saw block carrier is that you can just detach it and you're back to your normal saw buck. Okay, so the next step is to cut out uh, the plywood for the shelves and we'll put the tape measure on it it's right around 18 inches by eight inches from top to bottom so that's what we're going to cut out next these top pieces so i'm going to come over here to plywood and all the plywood is is a quarter inch uh piece of plywood there and that's what we're going to use let me stencil it out all right so i'm using the table saw you can use a hand saw you can use a circular saw i'm just using a table saw very measured uh, eight inches in width 18 inches length and i'm going to cut this uh, right now Okay, so we we'll went ahead and uh, cut the plywood here, and we're going to make the bottom shelf to sit like this on the rails that we bent already. And then take the shelf wall and place it on like this. So that's the plan. So I got to drill holes, and uh, probably what I'll do is uh, use some nuts for anchor points right across the round stock. So that's the next part. All right, so what we're doing right now is bolting on the board. I'm countersinking my holes. I'll countersink my starter holes over here. You see it bolted down into the metal plate frame right here. And then later on, I'll tighten them up, cut this bolt off, and then also cut the round stock here. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the shelves done. Whatever I do on one side, I'll just do the other. Alright, counter shocked. Good to go. Alright, so this progress so far. I got both uh, the bottom shelves. One, two. Now I'm working on the sideboards to be able to put on to the saddles. You can see I'm already finished the, the brackets on each side. So now I just got to uh, bolt on the, the sideboards and then mount on the saw buck itself. So we're making board progress. We're getting there. Okay, so we got all the bomb boards on, the side boards. Now what we're going to do is uh, cut this part off right here with the saw and on all four corners and then mount on the saw buck. All right, to show you what I've done so far is I cut, finished off cutting all four corners. Also uh, trimmed down all the bolts coming out of this pack saddle. And I did both sides. You can see everything's recessed in for the holes on top that I made. So everything's flush with salt blocks. Did the same thing on this side. And tightened them up. So we're tied all the way around. What I'm going to do now is kind of round the corners uh, with the sander. So there's no uh, heavy edges getting caught. So I'm going to round the corners on this thing real quick. That is next. Okay, so here I am, about right around these corners and uh, get to sanding on everything. This is the next step, folks, and we're almost done. All right, so the final step, uh, as you can see, I drilled through the boards. I got these excess uh, bolts right here, and I've already bolted them on the back side of the side boards here. 
And my intention is to weld flush on top of the bolt and then cut it off and grind it so it's nice and smooth. Now, a spacer is nice because if you got a salt block here and salt block here, you actually got a finger spot where you can kind of manipulate them and push them off. Uh, it's a lot easier. Plus, you got grippage over here and here to manipulate salt blocks and just throw them on the ground. So this is what I'm going to do next, and then hopefully this should be done. So that's what I'm doing next. So here's the final product. Got these uh, bolted on, grinded them off. Looks pretty nice and neat. And now all I gotta do is get my straps go across, be able to uh, carry some salt blocks on here. Everything's tightened up. It is a finished done project on this saw buck here. And pretty much matching to the one over there, which was our template, remember. So it's been a fun project and uh, looking forward to using it. We'll post a video on that. Mm -hmm. 